Arsenal versus Norwich. The Canaries needing a victory to move out of the drop zone. The Gunners still chasing that fourth spot for Champions League football next season. It was the relegation threatened side, though, who looked the stronger in the first half. They might have gone in front just six minutes in. Nathan Redmond's effort producing an excellent save from Petr Cech. Redmond restored to the side by Alex Neal. Five goals for the season so far. And Arsenal hadn't learned their lesson. Four minutes from the end of the opening period, Redmond had another opportunity, this time set up by Wes Houlihan. And once again, Arsenal's goalkeeper to the rescue. The Gunners had dropped ten points in their last seven home games. No wonder there were protests in the crowd amongst the Gunners fans. There were some backing Arsene Wenger, though, as well. And Wenger made a substitution on the hour, which produced almost immediate dividends. Danny Welbeck on target from Olivier Giroud's knockdown. The England man had only been on the pitch for three minutes, having come off the bench, and it did change the mood around the Emirates Stadium. Norwich, though, still possessed a threat. Excellent work again from Redmond, who crossed towards De Mercy and Bacani on as a substitute. Only an excellent challenge from Gabriel. Saved the day from the Gunners' point of view, not given offside. John Muddy did finally have to make a couple of saves in the last 20 minutes. First from Mesut Herzl, stinging volley from the German. Referee Mike Jones actually gave a goal kick, but the replay shows Ruddy definitely got a touch to Herzl's left-footed effort. Was travelling too. And then, just a few minutes later, from Mohamed El Neni, whose only goal for the Gunners came in the new Camp in the Champions League. Not convincing from Arsenal, but they move above Manchester City into third place. Norwich, second bottom, have three games left to save themselves. 1-0 Arsenal.